Hello and welcome developers. My name is Shay and this is another episode of Shay Develops. Today we're going to be talking about the final keyword in Java and I'm going to be showing you guys some examples on how to use it and why it might be important and what you could use it for in your next project. Now a final, with the use of the final keyword can be used with fields, classes, and methods. And basically it means a lot like what it says. These fields, classes, and methods can only be initialized and, or excuse me, declared and then initialized a single time. So they can't be then modified after the fact. All right, so let's show you guys a quick example. And then we're going to create some more examples. So we'll do final int test equals 12. And there we go. We've declared and then initialized it. The declaration is here. The initialization is here. So it's both been declared and initialized one time. But if we go in and we try to change it, should I say test equals to 14, we get an error because we cannot assign a value to a final variable and that's pretty much exactly how these final uh, the final keyword works and it works very similar with methods and classes as well except for with a method the method cannot be overwritten by a subclass and if you create a class as final that class cannot have cannot be subclassed and that's useful if the class needs to be immutable which means you, you can't change anything about it. So we're going to go and create some examples so you guys can get a better understanding. So I'm going to create a new Java class. We're going to call it parent. And we're going to make another new Java class. We're going to call it child. And now parent, we're just going to give some basic information here. Uh, let's do private string name and we'll do private int age just to have some things and this isn't I'm, I'm making it a very parent child uh, relationship as far as like people but this is also demonstrating a parent child relationship to classes and subclasses because we're going to extend the parent class into the child class and see uh, or, and so that way we can see how the final keyword can be used uh, with between classes like this okay so let's go ahead and create create our constructor and then now we're going to extends parent There we go. And now we've got our public child class. And let's do, let's print out some information about the child or parents. Let's do public void print stats. Like the person is named and their age is all right so now that we have this method if we were to go in and create our create a parent Bill, Billy, with the age of 45, everything works as, it, as intended. Then we can come in here and even then create a child. Those new child, give it the name of Timmy and an age of 12. And everything seems to work just fine. So we can even come in here and do parent one dot print stats and we could do child one 
dot print stats as well and see what happens here. Wait for a second for it to build. There we go. And now we have the person is named Billy and their age is 45, and the person is named Timmy and their age is 12. So we have access to print stats, but what if we wanted to override print stats here and we said this is a child and we and their name is. We'll put their name is confidential. So you're trying to keep the the identity of the child of, to be unknown, right? So if we go back and we run this again, we should parents uh, the parent one dot print stat should work just just normal, and then the child dot print stats should be uh, should print out the the new output that we uh, assigned it. But if we were to come in here into our parent class and make this final, and we go back into our child class, we now get an error because parent stats cannot override, or excuse me, print stats cannot override the print stats in our parent class because the overridden method is now final. So, like I said before, if you're trying to create a method, uh, and you don't want it to be overwritten, you can set it to be final, so that way it can no longer be overwritten within a child class. So I'm going to comment that out for now. And it's now and every time I run print stats, whether it's on the child, and so said we can go back here and rerun it again so you guys can see that it should still run fine. But every time it's rerun, it's gonna be rerun from the prints uh, from the parent class and not the child class, even though we're creating a object from the child class. So now we can do one more thing here, and we are going to set our child, or excuse me, we're going to set another class to be final, and that means it cannot be subclassed. And instead of actually just creating uh, a new one, we could come in here. Actually, no, let's go ahead and create a new one. We'll call it we'll call it final class. And we'll do private string name, and that'll be it. We'll just leave it at that. We'll create our constructor, and then now let's actually make it final. So if we do final, so we got public final class final class, and we can try and create a another child class. So we'll just call it subclass. And we try to extend final class. Even if we come in here and insert the constructor, we cannot inherit from final because final class is using the keyword final, which means it cannot be subclassed. And we can see that right here it says make final class not final. So if I was to click on this and we go back into final class, you see it removed our keyword final and that's how a uh, final works in with these methods or, or in, in Java with the fields the classes and the methods so hopefully you guys learned something this is a very quick video for me uh, please uh, like comment subscribe hit that notification icon for more content in the future we'll be coming out with these videos uh, a bit uh, well as often as I can I do have a very busy life but I, uh, I hopefully I I'm helping somebody out there I'm definitely helping myself going through and learning this stuff so I really want to be just you know as genuine and as helpful as possible let me know how I can help you guys out though leave a comment and leave a comment in the comments you know just tell me guys what you're working on what you like about my videos what you don't like about my videos how I can help you guys further all right so until the next video you guys are awesome take care and I'll talk to you soon